guys, welcome back. So I've got 2014 favorites for you today, and this is going to be part one of two. So today is going to be face and random. So like hair care, body care, skin care, some jewelry, some tools, stuff like that. And then my next video will be lips and eyes because those are definitely my two favorite things of makeup. So I have the most of those. Um, if you notice, my background is a little different. Um, I'm kind of experimenting, so this may change back. I'm gonna have some videos where I'm back in my old spot, um, and so it's gonna kind of like move around. So sometimes I'll be over there, sometimes I'll be here. I may switch completely over here. I'm not sure, but I found most of these things at Ross. So the little um, shelf thing is Ross, that little guy's Ross. Which way am I going? This is a little candle I already had. That's Ross. The, the um, flowers are Dollar Store. Where am I going? That's Ross. I don't remember where that's from. I've had that for a while. And then that I think I found at like an antique mall to raise things up on. And then the little lights are from Target, the dollar spot. They were like $3 and they're so cute. So anyway, that's why that's looking different. But yeah, these are going to be my 2014 favorites. First off, I want to say I'm so glad 2014 is over. If you watch my channel um, and you kind of follow me, especially on Instagram, um, 2014 was a really rough year for our family. And I'm not even going to go into it because I want to keep this happy and upbeat, but I'm just glad it's over. Um, <laughs> I know that good things are coming in 2015. At some point, I'm going to share kind of our story, but I want to wait until... Hopefully there's some kind of like a happy ending because right now it's just, it's kind of a sad story, you know, it's just, I don't know. But um, Chester, who is right down here, he is definitely a 2014 favorite. He's definitely the blessing of the year. Love him so much. He's all over my Instagram and I've shown him the videos. He's calm right now, so I don't want to pick him up, but I might later. So anyway, I'm going to try to be brief with this, with all these favorites, but we'll see how that goes. So let's get into it. Okay, so starting with primers, I'm really not much of a primer girl, but I wanted to feature one just because I wanted to say, if I were to use a primer, this one is my favorite. It's the L'Oreal Revitalift Miracle Blur Oil Free. I think this is a great one. Um, I feel like it just really helps blur any kind of um, pores, fine lines, really sets the stage for putting on your foundation. So I think this is a really great one. It's a little bit pricey from the drugstore. I wanna say, I can't remember the exact price, between $20 and $25 or so, but it's a really, really good one. So if you're kind of like me, not so much a primer girl, I would say give this one a try and see what you think about it. Okay, now for foundations. So I picked two that I wore the most, that I really, really loved the most, which is really how I narrowed down these favorites because there were certain things in 2014 that I was really impressed with, but I didn't necessarily wear a lot. So I tried to grab things that I was really impressed by and also that I grabbed for a lot. So my first favorite, my high-end um, foundation favorite is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay In Place Makeup. This has been a favorite for years. I love it. Um, apparently they, they changed the formulation on it, but I still really enjoy it. So I wear it in 2N1 Desert Beige. And I feel like it's just, beautiful coverage. It lasts the longest of anything. Um, and it just, it just looks beautiful. I love the look of this foundation. So this is by far a favorite. It's been a favorite for years. It will continue to be a favorite. I just love it. And then this one, I fell in love with this, this, this year. This is a CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous Fresh Complexion Oil Free Foundation. And I wear it in 110. I am so impressed with this. I really, I don't know. I just don't love, I'm starting to love more and more as new great ones come out. I really just have not been a drugstore foundation girl and I haven't found really any until this year that I love. And this one is so impressive. I would say this is a really, really close second with the Estee Lauder or maybe even a tie. Um, I'm wearing this today. I just feel like it's beautiful coverage. Um, it's very natural looking and it's really long wearing. So I am just super impressed by this makeup and it doesn't break me out. Also another important thing, neither of these do. So this one is great and it's really inexpensive. I think around 
depends on where you get it, but like $7 or so, $6.50, something like that. So super affordable and a great foundation. For concealers, I use the same three concealers every single day, unless I'm trying out something new. And they are the Maybelline Dream Lumi Brightening Concealer in Ivory. This is the one that when I run out of this, I have to go get another one. And I do go through it quickly, so that's a negative about it. Um, but it's just so brightening. The coverage is great, and I just love the texture on it. It's so easy to blend. It just blends like a dream, and it looks beautiful. I love it. And then I also use the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Eraser Dark Circles. I use this one in light. It's awesome. It's very kind of um, thin in texture, so it's easy to use. And then I also, holy grail, the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. I wear it in NW20. I love this one for um, after these. So I use the Dream Lumi first, then I use this one, the Age Rewind, then I pat this on. I use these with a brush, and then I pat this one on with my fingers. And I also use this one for spot concealing around my face. So if I have an area of redness or something, I'll use this with a brush, but under my eyes, I use my fingers. So this one's kind of like a do-it-all kind of concealer, whereas these two are more for my under eyes, but these are definitely my holy grails. Okay, for powders, I picked out four, but I just love all of these, so I wanted to mention them all. Uh, first is the e.l.f. High Definition Under Eye Setting Powder. Thank you so much to my bestie, Ashley, from Texas Mommy and Boys for mentioning this. I love this. Um, it's just very finely milled. It sets your under eyes beautifully. It does have a little bit of shimmer in it, but I don't really notice it once I get it on my face. So I just think it's a great powder, and it's $3. And then I also love the um, e.l.f. High Definition Powder. This is beautiful. It's very finely milled again, just sets gorgeously. It's translucent and it's a great one. It's $6, but then if you wait for like a 50% off sale, it's $3, so even better. I also really, really enjoyed the Sephora Micro Smooth Baked Face Compact, and I wear it in light 15. This is just a really, like natural looking powder. That's why I love it so much. Um, you know, I don't think I've ever owned a MAC MSF in like a natural skin tone color for setting foundation. So I've never tried that, but I would guess that it's probably pretty similar to this. Um, it's just a really beautiful kind of satin finish and it wears nicely. I just like that it looks, it doesn't look like powder. You know what I mean? It's, it looks like skin. So it's really, really pretty. Um, I think it's around $20 or something like that. And then this one. Oh my goodness, I love this powder and it's expansive. This is the NARS All Day Luminous Powder Foundation. I wear it in light to Mont Blanc. I got this um, in gratis from Sephora and I would have never tried this because it says luminous um, and I have oily skin. Well, it's getting less oily, but it's like combination. And usually luminous, is bad for me but I mean it's just I don't know it has such a gorgeous finish on the skin um, this one does get a little bit oily on me but when I first apply it and if I keep kind of um, applying a light dusting of it throughout the day it's just a beautiful very natural but it has this kind of a little bit of a glow to it kind of a finish I just really really love it um, I love everything about it other than the price tag. It's just, it's a pricey powder, but it is really, really nice. And then for bronzer, I just chose one. And I picked this one because this is the one that I really just used the most, that I would grab for consistently. And it's the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. I just, I love everything about this. You know, it's funny, because I bought this a couple of years ago, and I ended up returning it, because I thought it didn't match me. I thought it was just, well, Obviously, it doesn't match me, but I thought that it was too dark for me. Um, but really, I just have to be kind of strategic with how I use this. Um, and they do have the milk chocolate bronzer, um, but honestly, I just like this one because the milk chocolate is, it's pretty light. And I like that this one has enough color that I can use it as a contour, but I can also use a light dusting of it as kind of an all over bronzer too. So it kind of just, it works as my go-to for anything kind of a bronzer. And it just, it looks beautiful, smells amazing. 
I just really, really enjoy this bronzer so much. For highlight, I chose three favorites. So the first one is the um, Physician's Formula. It's this really long named one that's incredible. This is the Shimmer Strips All-in-One Custom Nude Palette for face and eyes, and I have it natural nude. If you haven't tried this, I really think you would love it. You know, you've got options. You can either have kind of the lighter highlight if you use the top part of it, or you can swirl it all together, or you can go more on the bottom half if you want kind of a little bit slightly more bronzy highlight. But this is one that when you get it on your skin, it's just so pretty. I don't know, like when I do like this and it kind of is not in the light, it looks a little darker, but then when the light catches it, it has just such a sheen. I love this highlight. I remember when I first got it and tried it, I was like, oh, this is amazing drugstore find. It is gorgeous. Then two high-end favorites. This is the Laura Mercier Matte Radiance Baked Powder in Highlight 01. I just find that I grab for this a lot. It's just a really nice kind of slightly yellowy, just barely champagne highlight, but it's just one of those easy, go with everything highlights. And oh, it's really nicely pigmented. It's one of those products too that when I swatch it, it doesn't look as impressive or as beautiful as when I get it on my face. But once you get it on your skin, it's just beautiful. It catches the light and it's not super crazy. So it's um, kind of in between natural, you can barely see it, and wha-bam highlight. It's right in the middle. It's just a perfect level of wow. You know what I mean? <laughs> and then also the Too Faced Candlelight Glow. I love this one too. The packaging is adorable. It's just so cute and it's really a nice texture. It's very pigmented. It's just, I mean, look, whoa, that, that packs a punch right there. This is just, oh. this one's a lot more yellowy, especially when you like rub it all together. Um, and it's, it's more of a wabam highlight, but just, oh, just look at it. It is just amazing. I love how it catches the light. I love this one, man. That is so cute. And just Too Faced in their packaging, can't go wrong. For blush, I really just feel like you can't go wrong with the Jordana blushes. I mean, they are like 250 and they are beautifully pigmented. They last really well on the cheeks. I mean, there are just no complaints that I have with these blushes. This first one is Rose Silk. It's a really pretty kind of natural pinky shade. And then this one is gonna be Sunlit Bronze. This one was Rose Silk. And Sunlit Bronze is one of those that's like, I don't know, it doesn't look all that exciting, but once you get it on, it is just a go with anything blush. And oh my gosh, I just love the texture of these. They are so nice. So Rose Silk and Sunlit, sunlit Bronze, just amazing. 250, what? I mean, you can get so many different blush colors and have lots of different options in your collection for such a low price, I love them. And then I also really enjoyed the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Blushes. These are just so fancy and beautiful, and they really are special, I feel like. This one is Mood Exposure. I grabbed this one because I use it the most, I notice. Um, this one is just, I don't know, it's a really pretty, easy, wearable mauve. And the reason I say that these are special so they're not glittery, they're not shimmery, but they just seem to have a glow about them. So when you have them on your cheeks, I just feel like you just look like there's a hair. <laughs> I just really feel like they look like they're, you're glowing. It gives your skin just something extra, some kind of life, and it's so pretty. So I would say if you're gonna spend the 35 or so that this costs, um, I don't know, either go with something that's super unique that you really enjoy, that you haven't found somewhere else, or go with something that you know you're gonna get a lot of use out of, so you can kind of like justify that purchase. That's usually how I go with if I'm gonna spend more. I want it to be one of those two things, so yeah. And then I also really enjoyed these two from MAC, and they were limited edition. I hate that, but they're so pretty, and I loved them so much that I have to mention them. 
These were from the Novel Romance Collection. Again, Ashley to told me about them. I tell ya, those friends that love makeup too, you learn so many good things from them. It's just so much fun. She's just not like a makeup friend to me. She's an everything friend. But we do talk about makeup a lot because we love it. So these two blushes, um, the lighter one is Fun Ending and the darker one is Animal Instincts. I like them by themselves, but I really love them together too. So this one is Fun Ending, that one's Animal Instincts. And they just, I don't know, they work really well together, but they're also pretty by themselves. I thought that one did not look like it would work for me. I do have to be light-handed with it, and I kind of keep it a little bit lower on my cheeks, but it's still really, really pretty, and together they're just magical. I'll use this one a little bit lower on my cheeks, that one a little bit higher, and it has a little bit of a sheen. It's just, ugh, they're magical together. I really didn't get as many limited edition MAC things this year, I noticed. I kind of steered clear because I hate that, because then I can't really talk about stuff with you guys as much. Um, you know, it's just kind of like, for that time period. So I've kind of more concentrated on permanent things for MAC, but I did get these and just really, really, I love them. I wish they were permanent. Okay, for skincare, I have to go with Origins because it's just, it's the brand that if my skin is being weird, if it's freaking out, if it's breaking out or anything, I switch back to my Origins stuff and my skin will calm down. I love the Checks and Balances Frothy Face Wash. That's in my shower, so I didn't grab, grab that one, but it's just a great, everyday face wash. It's really foamy and it just really cleans your skin well. So I love that. This is the um, Ginseng Energy Boosting Moisturizer. It smells great. It's great for every day. It's very light, more of a gel kind of consistency moisturizer. This one is the High Potency Nitamins Mineral Enriched Renewal Cream. Love this one for nighttime. It's a lot more emollient, but it doesn't feel super cakey or heavy, but it does feel very moisturizing. So I love both of these. I got them in a little um, 500 point perk from Sephora, but I've tried these products before and really enjoyed them. And I just feel like Origins is such a great brand. It's more on the natural side. It's made without all the junky, nasty stuff. And it's more affordable too. That's what I like about it too, um, is that a cream like this is I think around $40 versus some creams are upwards of 80, 90, hundred dollars. So I just really feel like Origins is a great skincare brand just in general. Okay, for hair care, I grabbed several different things because I use these on a consistent basis when I have them. Um, both of these things I'm out of, but I'm gonna be buying more of them. So first off is the Caviar CC Cream 10-in-1 Complete Correction Leave-In Hair Perfector. Love this. I feel like it made my hair so healthy when I used it. It didn't weigh it down. It was just a great hair primer um, for just really giving my hair nutrients, but also protecting it from the heat. It is a great primer and really, really surprised me. Um, I had two samples of those and went through both of them and I want to buy it, which that says a lot because I don't know, I don't feel like I get super excited about hair care, but I think that that is just a really great product. And then I also used the, um, this is the Living Proof Prime Style Extender. Never thought that I would think this was worth it, but I do feel like it extends the wear of your hairstyle. And this is a hair primer, which just sounds so weird, but somehow, some way, it seems to work. And I really do love it. Gotta mention my Garnier Fructis Volumizing Anti-Humidity Hairspray because I use this sucker every single day. Most of the time I get volumizing unless they're sold out and then I'll get one of the other ones. I love this because it's cheap. It's around $3, $3.50 or so. Smells really good and it's kind of a buildable hairspray. It doesn't instantly get cakey and sticky and gross. You can kind of build it up to be very, it's not going nowhere but you can also do a really light dusting of it, or not dusting, a light spray of it, and then it's a more light hold. So I feel like it's just very versatile, and I just love the smell of it, and again, I love it, it's $3. And then for hair tools, my first one is the Hot Tools Triple Barrel Waver. This is what I use when my hair is kind of crimpy looking. It's just really easy, just literally clamp down your hair. I section off my hair, and then I just clamp. 
that's literally it. It's just basically crimping your hair except with a wafer. And then I also really enjoy my Numi Curl Jam set. Um, this comes with, the Curl Jam set came with this with three different um, little wands that you can, you know, like pop this off and then switch out the other one. Um, three different ones of those and then the straightener, which I never straighten my hair because my hair is um, layered and my hair is really fine. So when my hair is layered, it doesn't look good straight because the bottom layer looks so thin. It just, it looks bad. So I always curl or wave or something my hair. And this is just a really great wand. I love Numi wands. The, every one that I've gotten from them, I've loved because it curls my hair really quickly, really well, and it holds really well. Um, now I'm not one of those girls that this will last me three days. My hair is just not like that. But if it lasts till the end of the day, or even the next day, then that's really good. And this definitely does that. Um, this is the 19 millimeter one, and that's what I use today. Um, and I've been using this, you know, more recently, but I also love the bigger one, the middle one, not the huge one. The middle one is, I think, 25 millimeter. So I really like that too, but these are really great. A couple of body care favorites. I love this tanner from Sally's. It's the Tan White Sunless Tanning Lotion. It's like $12. I love the color that it gives and it does not wear off funky, streaky, splotchy, and weird. And most every tanner does that to me, but this one doesn't. I really enjoy it. I don't want, I don't even want to know what's in it. I'm sure it's bad stuff, but it works well. Um, and then I really, really, I, this is like one of my summer essentials. I love this. Anytime I show my legs, I want this on them. This is the Sally Hansen Airbrush Legs Leg Makeup, and I wear it in light, and I mix this with a body moisturizer because by itself, it's very opaque and it is like foundation, but mixed with a lotion, it just gives your skin a little bit of color, covers up, um, white legs. That's what I got going on. <laughs> but it also covers up, um, you know, varicose veins or just any kind of imperfections on your legs. Sometimes I've even used this, um, like I used this when we were in Jamaica and I got a horrific sunburn. I was kind of like balancing it out and covering up some of the red on like my shoulders with this and some lotion and even some aloe. Things got a little weird when I mixed the aloe. <laughs> But with lotion, it works really well. This is just really good stuff. Okay, some tools and some randoms. I love the Urban Decay Grindhouse Sharpener. This is so good. Mine's neon because I got it in like a special holiday set or something, but I think the regular one is purple. Um, it's like a $10 sharpener, but it's the best. It just sharpens like a dream. I love it. Mine's really gross looking because I use it a lot. Um, I fell in love with the Kevin Aquan eyelash curler. I was going to say sharpener. Hopefully not if you're putting this on your eyes. Um, I love the shape of this. It just, I've said this before, it fits my eyes well. It fits my eyeballs well is what I said before. Um, and I'm just really impressed with it. I got this at the makeup show in Dallas as gratis or as like a freebie kind of a thing for bloggers. And I think it's great. I've been using a Tweezer Man one, but this one is awesome. I also use the Sephora Daily Makeup Brush Cleaner on a daily basis. Um, the brushes that I'm actually good about cleaning every day, like usually the brush that I apply my um, dip brow pomade with and like eyeliner brushes and stuff like that, I'll use a brush cleaner on every day and this is the one that I use. Seems like it cleans them well and I love the smell. It's like very, yeah, it's just very clean and I just really enjoy it. It's not that expensive. Um, had to mention my MAC Fix Plus. I use this a lot with pigments, um, with kind of glittery sort of things. Anything that I want a mixing medium, I grab from my Fix Plus a lot. I really don't use it as kind of a spray or a setting spray or anything like that, but I use it just as a mixing medium and love it that way. And then for brushes, I could go on forever about them, but I am planning on doing a brush video at some point of like my most used or favorite brushes. But I just found that I grab for Sedona Lace, e.l.f., Real Techniques, and Sigma brushes the most. So I love Kabuki brushes. This one is the Sedona Lace 928. Um, this is the Sedona Lace 217, great for concealer. It is just awesome, love this one. Um, e.l.f. brushes, these are so nice. They're $3 and they're really good. 
This one is the blush brush. I love this for contouring, but also for um, blush. You can set your under eyes with it. This one is what I set my under eyes with. This is the small tapered brush. I always want to say blush brush. No, small tapered brush. And it's just perfect for your under eyes. Um, Real Techniques, I use the setting brush for my highlighter. That one's great. I use the, this is the detailer brush. This one's perfect for like the inner uh, corner of your eyes or even like the middle half of my lid. I use that a lot. This little guy was from CVS. He's not around anymore, but if he were, I would highly recommend him. Um, these are both Sedona Lace, these two. I use these on my eyes. EB21, kind of a flat guy. This is a blending brush, the EB09. And then I also love concealer brushes for packing on color on my lid. This is the concealer. F70 brush from um, Sigma. So I, I really enjoy concealer brushes for packing on color because you can use them with pretty much anything because they're synthet synthetic. Mm -hmm. synthetic. Um, so they're great for pigments, they're great for glitters, and they just really work well for packing on color. So this one's a great one. And then for fashion, I just have to give a shout out to Twisted Silver because they are my favorite jewelry brand and I wear their stuff a lot. I just feel like they're so unique. That's what I, I use that word way too much to describe them, but they are. And I love that because you guys know that I'm a craft fair shopper. I'm kind of like an antique store shopper. Um, and I just love finding jewelry that way. And I feel like Twisted Silver is that kind of a company that it's just unique and different and funky and eclectic. So this one is the Beatnik necklace. Love that. This is the Beatnik bracelet. I wear that a lot. Um, this is the Creek Walk necklace. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. Just for like an everyday thing. Love that. Um, and then this is the uh, Capture necklace. This will always be one of my favorites. It just goes with everything and it's just funky and cool. I really enjoy it. So Twisted Silver, they'll always be one of my favorites. They're always coming out with new, really cool pieces. And they're just a great company. Um, so I have to mention them, they're awesome. Okay guys, so that wraps up part one and I don't know about you, but I'm tired. I bet that that was a really long video. So if you stuck through the whole thing, thank you so much. I hope that you really enjoyed it. Please give it a thumbs up if you did and let me know what your favorites are in these categories. Watch out for part two because that will be coming soon. Ask me any questions that you have down below. I'm always happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.